These students working on the mural are making thirteen twenty-five an hour, money that comes in handy. This is Isis Queenberry's second year taking part in the Youth Works program. She works as a realtor assistant. Youth Works helped me, you know, to help provide for my family, um, also make money to, you know, get ready for school. Um, and also, I learned so much about, like, saving my money and, you know, just managing it. Katanya Lester was one of the original students in 1984. She worked at a park in Govins. Well, it really encouraged me because I was really happy to be a young student living in the Park Heights community in Palmer Court Apartment, having the opportunity to catch the bus to a totally different area and to work and make money, to bring that money back home, to help my parents who were also working at the time. But it was considered extra income, not only for me, but also for my siblings that I shared it with. Lester says she was so inspired by the program, she joined the Mayor's Office of Employment Development many years later. Dr. S. Rashim is the Youth Work Senior Program Manager. And you know, it started off as just a summer jobs program, but it turned out to be so much more than that because we understand that our youth communities need so much more than just a job. Uh, they need job readiness development. They need to be educated more on what is the process and how do I fill out an application. Uh, it also provides financial literacy. The students also get connected with lifelong mentors. It's just an amazing opportunity to like build your resume and to build a work experience. This year, YouthWorks is expanding. It's launching an extended pilot program for 200 high school juniors and seniors who will work throughout the year. Lisa Robinson, WBAL TV 11 News.